These guys are all muddied up. Hi, Lolo. Hey, bud. Oh, they are fully trained now. Oh, yeah. Oh, immediately. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, big one. it was a massive. He broke the hook. Dude, this is crazy, bro. We're sewer fishing. Got him. Hi, right, everyone. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get duck food. What is going on, Froze? Welcome back to another video. We've done a lot in the yard these last couple of days. David and I have been going at it. The patio now has landscape all around it. We have been working on this for the last couple of days, and the snapping turtle pond, I took the wood out. We have a little bit of renovating going on. I'm gonna flush it out. See the goldfish are in there. I swear this thing literally never stops growing. I mean, it's getting so, so big now. Hey, bud. Oh, he grabbed the mic. Oh my gosh. Hopefully you can still hear me, all right, back there? Sorry, sorry about that. We also did landscape along this side of the house, too. Uh, we're really putting in some work at this house lately. Before I start today's video, I want to give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, who's been a sponsor of ours for a very long time now, and we love them very much so. So a quick word from them, and then we'll get right on into the video. Today's video is sponsored by Manscaped. Christmas came early this year, because I just got gifted the new performance package by Manscaped. Let's check it out. They're missing a word between here. Your jingle balls will thank you. <laughs> Manscaped has created the world's first all-in-one men's grooming kit that will cover you from head to toe. The Lawnmower 4.0 waterproof cordless trimmer is built with advanced skin safe technology which helps reduce nicks and cuts on your most sensitive areas. It's even got this little LED light on the end there that will help when you're shaving and Now these are game changers. They're also great stocking stuffers. Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner Spray. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Nose and ear hair trimmer. I tell you what, so glad Santa gave me this. The Weed Whacker has these 360 rotary blades in the same skin safe technology from the trimmer, so it helps prevent tugging and tears in your nose and ears. Now along with everything else Manscaped provides you, they actually have you head to toe literally with the new Shears 2.0 six piece stainless steel nail kit. Every man needs to add Manscaped to their wish list this season. Now if you've got a man in your life that's been extra good this season, make sure to get them the Performance Package Kit by Manscaped. Because right now, for a limited time, you will get two free gifts along with the package. One of them being this Shed Travel Bag right here to put all of your Manscaped supplies right inside. The other is the Anti-Shaping Boxer Briefs by Manscaped. I've told you guys this before, these are my favorite boxers. I'm wearing some Manscaped boxers right now, as a matter of fact. So that's literally a gift on top of a a gift. Now don't wait. Go to the top link in the description, use my link, manscaped.com slash Paul, and you'll get 20% off plus free international shipping with your order. That's manscaped.com slash Paul for 20% off plus free international shipping. Woo! Guess what, Pharaohs? <laughs> I'm stoked. We finally got this working. Over the last course of like two weeks, this pond has been giving us nothing but problems. Curing wise, it is finally cured. We had to remove all of it and then recoat it again. And this time, it did cure. We're ready to freaking clean this thing and fill it up with water so we could test it. And then if it doesn't leak, which I know it's not gonna leak, I mean, I don't even have to knock on wood for that. When it doesn't leak, we could then fill it up and actually get our filter installed. The beginning of December, Rodrigo, my boy from Predatory Fins, is flying over from New York, and we're gonna install the filter for the 5,500 gallon and finally get the fish from 3,600 gallon into that. The cichlid pond also looks absolutely fantastic. Look at all of our beautiful fish. They are fully trained now. Like, watch this. Bam, right in front of me. They'll eat, they're not scared no more. Our fly river is doing amazing. He's definitely getting better. Our Mata. Water is crystal, crystal clear. This was our last video, and it's coming along so great. As you can see, Mata Mata is right here, vibing. I'm gonna catch him some fish to keep in here, because they love to catch fish. He's been up here, boring himself, making uh, making his own spots. He's kind of destroyed my landscape. You hear Bambi? Let's get out of here. Why are you such a crybaby? Huh? There's Bambi right there. That is Bambi. Why are you such a crybaby? Huh? Look, see? He's not even doing anything. These guys are all muddied up. Hi, Lolo. Lady May. What up, big girl? And Mango. Gosh, I swear they burned through food. I had literally just bought $200 worth of feed. Gone. It's gone. It's been like two and a half days. Members that are supporting the farm, 
that is exactly what I buy all the animal feed with. So I appreciate you so much. Speaking of members, we're doing members only videos and these videos are just getting better and better as time goes on. If you guys want to become an advanced member, all you got to do is go to the link in the description down below. Join, you get exclusive videos at least a minimum of eight every single month. The main channel, like I said, never changes. We're going to continue to post here, but for extra content, exclusive behind the scenes stuff, Q and A's, live streams, become a member. I promise you, you will not regret it. Bambi, would you shut? The link for that is in the description. Anyway, back into the fish building. Before we get started with today's video, I want to give you guys an update on everything because it's, it's, it's what I like to do. These animals are pretty much yours, so. Axolotls, doing fantastic. Saltwater tank. Flower horn is looking so much better. His goldfish friends, fantastic. That's a quarantine tank, by the way. This soon to come for big brain flower horn, if you know, you know. Jellyfish, now have the lights finally working. So we have color changing light. They change colors. I mean, how crazy is that? This is a jellyfish tank. The jellyfish are floating around in there, as you can see. I'm not gonna lie, they're very difficult to see. They're, they're see-through. They're moon jellies. And I honestly do want more. So I might, I might order cooler jellyfish soon. Um, maybe have a couple of them in there, but they're floating around. You see them? See them in there? World clown knife in the back, always hiding. You can see his tail though, and his face. Arowana up here. I feel like every single time I feed this fish, it grows more and more, every, literally every single time. Arowana is doing fantastic, and now mantis shrimp, we're about to feed. Oh yeah. Get that thing. Woo! I think I told you guys, but I gave him a silver side, and ever since I gave him the silver side, he will not eat crabs anymore, so he's very, very spoiled. He now eats silver sides for a full-time living. Let's get on out of this building and head over to the goats. Woo, what's going on, goats? Hey, boots. Hey, king. Hey, everyone. And the other ones over there. This enclosure has gotten pretty wet over the last couple days. This is the lowest point of the yard, so it gets pretty wet. Hence exactly why over here at our beautiful barn, all set up and ready for whenever storms may come. They've got a fan, the goat's got everything right here. And as you know over here, this is the emu enclosure. We finally finished it. As you can see, we have four bars here, four bars over there. We just need to work on this outer fence now. And once we get four bars along there, we will be set. Big old enclosure, all strictly for baby pterodactyls. And I can't wait. They're coming soon. Emus, barn, goats, Lady May and Mango, family of pigs and crybaby Bambi, fish building, quacking ducks, and last but not least, more pigs. Everyone is doing fantastic. Look at our coon coon. Hi, buddy. You got a big old pig. Ooh, you guys smell. You smell. Oh, pfft. There you go. There you go, babe. She likes to eat on her own. I make her a separate pile. I mix corn in with their food this time. So they have a little bits of corn in there as little treats. All the animals are good. Farm is looking amazing, as you can see. New landscape, too. <laughs> I've taken the landscape in my farm to the next extent of literally, <laughs> please keep off my grass signs. Um, let's get today's video started. We are here at the location of the Sua. Logan, you used to catch them here when you were younger? Oh, when yeah. you were a little lad? Little baby lad. <laughs> <laughs> so throughout this entire neighbor, this is Logan's neighborhood that he grew up in, he used to catch fish in all of the sewers. So there's a couple of them along the road and obviously this one right here. We're gonna be dropping bread down with a fishing rod and see if we can catch sewer fish. It's gonna work. Come from the lake, there's pipes, right? And these pipes run through all the neighborhoods. So the tilapia, the bluegill, the gar, the bass, whatever it may be, alligators. We'll go through all these pipes. And this is where you can find them. See the water? Well, it's not focusing, but. And that right there, it's not too deep. But oh, this one's not too deep. There's a couple of them that are deeper than this. We're gonna try them all. And we're gonna catch one. <laughs> we're gonna do it somehow, some way. Maybe not, but we're gonna try. I used to drop bread down here, dude, and it would take like no time and they would be all over it. Oh, that's deep. <laughs> This one's way oh, deep. Oh, fish are eating it. No. Swear to God. <laughs> look, look at the piece of bread. <laughs> oh, see oh, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh, 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 dude. This is gonna be amazing. Okay. That is crazy. That is so crazy to me. Piece of bread. Paul's little secret. Give her a little moisture. Oh, yeah. Now she's gonna stay on the hook a lot better. Going in. Drop her down. There she goes. <laughs> she's going, she's going, she's going fast, too. Oh. Oh, oh. They robbed us. All right, tiny, tiny. That means they're smaller. What do you think these cars think when they pass us fishing in a sewer right here? They're probably like, these kids need help. Look it, my bread is still on. Nothing yet.
Got him. Oh, Got him. that's a big tilapia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no yes. cuts. We're showing you how real that <laughs> is right there, dude. That is oh, that's yeah. the exact one I saw. The exact one. He goes. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Got him. Nice. Tilapia. The spotted tilapia. He's a little stinky, huh? He's a little smelly. I mean, he is in a sewer. Yeah, makes sense. So what we're going to do is, I'm not even going to release him in the lake because he might even have a bed in there. She might even have a bed. These ones breed a lot too. Mm -hmm. Just going to put him right back. But sewer fishing, baby. Let's go. I'd say we completed our mission. Nice. I literally have always wanted to do that. Thank you, Logan. Anytime, pal. That was... That was fantastic. Smash, <laughs> smash the like button. Right in there. Recap. Got him. How many times can we play it? Got him. Got him. Gonna keep playing. <laughs> Logan is now trying the one right from where we were. He's gonna drop a piece right here. Oh, immediately. Oh, 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 oh my so, God. That dude, was a big one. It was a massive Mayan cichlid. It was a massive. Dude, this is crazy, bro. We're sewer fishing. Come on, Logan. Redemption. Red is in. Oh my god. Oh, they're thick over here. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> I want to get oh. him. Got him. No! Oh. He broke the hook! No! He broke the hook, and that is our only hook. <laughs> <laughs> at least we caught one at least we caught one if you guys want to see more of this because we're in the middle of nowhere your old neighborhood by the way is in the middle of nowhere it looks like somewhere people would live but we're not and it's nowhere near a tackle shop we have no hooks left if you guys want to see us do this again smash the like button at 20,000 likes I'll come back we'll do a part two of sewer fishing and we'll come prepared thank you so much for watching make sure to go down below subscribe turn your notifications on check out the merch top link in the description of course manscaped.com slash paul for 20 percent off as well that link is down below love each and every one of you and i'll see you right back here in the next one peace If you're not a member, you're missing out. I tell you what, we make some bangers over there. <laughs>